Okay, in the last adjustment layer demo, I didn't show you that fourth adjustment. Um, so I'm going to show you that one now. Same image, still have the same adjustment layers going, levels, curves, color balance. I'll do one more. Brightness and contrast. Now remember, you may not need to do all of these adjustments. You may not need everything. Just one of these may be sufficient, okay? But for the sake of this demo, I want to show all of them to you. I'm going to bump the contrast up just a little bit. Okay. Before, after, before, after. Definitely much richer. Much richer. Blacks are a little deeper. Not losing much detail at all actually pulling up some detail that I may have lost earlier. Remember, don't use legacy. Don't use legacy. Dangerous, dangerous. Legacy is dangerous. Click OK. And I've applied all of these. Now, I just grabbed it and moved it up top to have it in the order that I applied it. All right, so I'm going to Option, click on the eyeball on the lower layer disabling all the other layers. This is where I started. This is where I ended up. Much better. Yuck. Terrible. Much better. I can selectively go through and see how each image affected. Okay. So, am I done? Well, I might be. But, um, uh, I sort of like the way the green in his shirt looks when I turn off the color balance. I like that. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is these layer masks. Okay, each of these boxes here, these white boxes, are called layer masks, and we can use them to disable um, this layer in certain areas by painting with with black. Um, so painting with black disables um, that particular effect on a layer and, and it can be used for other things and we'll talk about that later. So color balance, that's, that's what I want to change. I want to bring the color in his shirt back to the way it looks with color balance off. So I'm going to click on this layer. The layer mask is enabled. I'm going to use my brush tool and I want to paint with black. Okay, paint with black. Now, if if some other color is there, let's say you know you've got a funky, funky color there, and you want to switch back to the defaults, black and white. You just hit D on the keyboard, and it'll take you back to black and white. So D on the keyboard takes you to black and white. Foreground, foreground color is black. Background color is white. You can swap those with X on the keyboard. So swapping your foreground color and background color X on the keyboard. But I'm going to paint with black, brush tool. I want my, what was it, color balance? Yeah, I want to disable the color balance. I'm going to start painting with black in here. Okay, and as I paint with black, you'll see on the layer mask that the black that I'm painting starts to appear. On the layer mask only, not in the picture. Okay, so I'm taking his shirt back to the green that was present. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on his shirt here. Right in here. And painting. Painting. Painting with black. Okay. Of course, there are other methods to do here. I'm going to scroll around with my mouse. Come down here. Paint. Okay. Yeah. Now, it's really touchy there. I might need to zoom in a little bit more. This area. Need a smaller brush. Bring that green back in there. 
Okay, I'll zoom back out. All right. So, I like the green in his shirt that way much better. Now, if I disable, I'm going to right click on the layer mask, disable this layer mask. You can see that's what it is when color balance is applied to it. That's what it is without. So, subtle difference, but um, it can be very effective in some areas. All right, so adjustment layers and layer masks. Save. And again, totally non destructive. I can change this at any time. The beauty of using adjustment layers and layer masks. Okay?